October 19th, 3.27 p.m., right in Cola offices. That was a close one, huh, Mia? Really? Too bad. I'm sorry I missed it. Maya! So, what happened? Well, I think I've got a pretty good idea who did it. Now all I need is a motive. And proof. Wow! Good going, Nick! Under the initial trial system, tomorrow's the last day we have. Initial trial? What's that? That's the new court system they introduced two or three years ago. They had so many cases in the system they decided to speed up the whole process. So wonder that system trials have to end in three days? Yeah, pretty much. Well, we have no time to waste. Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about how to play games and today we're going to be playing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and finished off the court case. Or not the case, the trial, sorry. And we pretty much learned that Jack Hammer drugged Mr. Powers. And he also went to Studio 2, which seems to be the real place of the crime, meaning that someone at that place is actually the murderer. Anyways, let's get into, get into this. The Steel Samurai. I don't get it, Maya. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the Steel Samurai costume? What? You mean Mr. Hammer was wearing the costume? Yeah. But, but Mr. Hammer was the victim, Nick. Why would he go through the trouble of stealing it? That's what we have to find out. The director's alibi. What happened with the director's testimony? Well, it's pretty clear that the producer and the director were both in the trailer. Huh? Which means the killer has to be one of them. Really? Why? Because the real scene of the crime was Studio 2 where the trailer is. What? Hmm. Was Maya always this excitable? Well, have you noticed anything that might help us? I can't see what's going on when Mia is here. So no, I haven't noticed anything. Right. Maybe we should go talk to WP? WP. Powers. Right. So yeah, basically, at the beginning of each investigation section, Phoenix will recap what happened in the previous part of the case, as long as you talk to Maya. Let's look at Charlie over here. Mia's favorite potted plant. Maya's been watering it so much lately, it looks a little swollen. She's either trying to make it grow or she's perfecting her water torture technique. I think pretty much everything here will be the same. I'll go ahead and look into it and then I'll go ahead and edit in something saying that there's something more. Anyways, Maya, have you seen my attorney's badge? Sorry, I don't know how that will help us figure this out. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on over to the detention center. It's usually the best place to start because you get to talk with your client. October 19th, detention center visitor's room. Mr. Wright, you did very well again today. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Um, could you not look like you're about to burst into tears? Wow, Nick, you must have really wowed him in there. You could stop looking so vulnerable, too. Hey, WP, only one day left. Let's make it count. Yes, though there's not really anything I can do to help. <laughs> I'm not really sure what I can do, either. Please, this is no laughing matter. As always, let's check out the running gags. This guard monitors the visitor's room. He, sees, he seems frozen in all of willpowers. And then smile for the camera. Smile for the camera. What have you got for us, Mr. Powers? Could you tell me more about Miss Vasquez? Oh, the producer? She's she's well respected in the industry. They say she's a genius. I'm starting to turn into Marvin Grossberg. A genius? She's been at Global Studios for five years now. Right or wrong, nobody t dares tell her different these days. Why is that? Ever since she came on board, we've had nothing but hits. Global Studios was on its knees, but she pe picked it up and made it shine. Oh, and... And? What? Nothing. Forget it. I've only heard rumors, anyhow. Can you tell me anything about Mr. Manila? Oh, he used to be a minor straight to video director, but something in his work caught Vasquez's eye. She brought the Steel Samurai idea to him. Oh, everybody knows the name Sal Manella. Here he's pretty much at her beck and call, though. Whenever she says jump, he asks how high and all that. 
I can imagine him being at her beck and call, but I can't imagine him jumping. Jesus, Phoenix. I mean, yeah, but... <laughs> I was wondering about Mr. Hammer. Is he a big star? He was a big star back in the day, right? But then he just dropped off the face of the Earth. Oh. Yes, you're right. In fact, he was my role model when I started in this business. But he just stopped taking on big roles. That's when he began appearing in pro little productions at Global. How could he do that? I was really looking forward to a sequel to Samurai Summer. You just gave up being a star five years ago. Actually, now that I think about it, I was right when Miss Vasquez came to Global. Five years ago. So something fishy happened five years ago. We've got to figure out what. Excuse me. Thank you for showing me that, whatever it is. I wish I could think of some way to, for me to help you. Sorry. <laughs> Will Powers' voice for me is kind of a mix between the Judge Marvin Grossberg and me just doing my deepest voice I can. Studio Main Gate. Oh god, October 19th, Global Studios Main Gate. The old windbag. Uh, that's. The old windbag sure is quiet today. You know, this place really. peaceful like this. Nick? I think your guard's down. Yeah? I bet we could even eat those donuts in the guard station if we wanted. You eat, you die! <laughs> Woo! She's alive! probably one of my favorite lines. I feel like I'm going to say that about every line in this game, but these games are really funny. Um, I was wondering about D. Vasquez, the producer. Oh, the studio bigwigs love her. She, she, so she always gets her way. She seems bitter. Do you not like the producer? Look, the studio people don't want, want me talking about her, so sorry. Sorry if I have a bit of trouble getting back into old bag's voice. Can I ask you about Sal Manella, the director? Sal? He's a, he's soft. A pushover. Does whatever Vasquez tells him to. He treats him like dirt, but I think he likes it. Huh? How would anyone like being treated like dirt? That doesn't make any sense, does it, Nick? Uh, no. No, it doesn't, Maya. Yeah. About Mr. Hammer. Ah! I heard what you said about today. Cheeky weapon snapper. Poor old Hammer, you drag a star down from the sky and stomp on it. Calling him a criminal, a thief! I, 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 I won't forget this. Uh-oh, she's really pissed this time. You listen to me, Whippersnapper, my poor old Hammer would never do such a thing. <laughs> Why would he steal Powers' costume so he could sneak by me? He would never stoop so low. It's impossible! Yeah, she's kind of going off the rails. If you think you heard me laugh while I was doing her voice, that wasn't a laugh. That was just me coughing because her voice takes a lot out of me. Um, Miss Oldbag, what do you think of this? Think? I'm not in the mood for thinking think very much. Oh, we can tell. I'm gonna head back over to the employee area because this is where the food was that Will Powers ate and he got, you know, Put to sleep by sleeping pills. I guess they're not filming today either. I did want to see them filming. Just one time. This trial will be over and done by tomorrow. You can come see them film later. I guess. This is where you found that bottle of sleeping pills, right? Uh-huh. I wonder if there's any other clues lying around. Yeah! No, no, no. No touching, pal. Eek! Oh, sorry, pal. Didn't mean to frighten you. D didn't mean. I almost had a, had a heart attack. <laughs> I guess I could be a little dramatic at times. I suppose it's the actor in me. Dramatic, indeed. <clears throat> anyway, I'm here to examine the plate on that table, pal. Wait, are you looking for sleeping pills? Yeah, pal. Traces thereof. Gumshoe's, Gumshoe's theme is really cool. I, I really like it. The plate. So you're looking for traces of sleeping pills. How? For a thorough examination, I gotta take the plate back to the precinct. But I but I have the capabilities of to make a cursory examination right here. Our science gig yeah, our science guy gave me some testing solution. This reacts to our sleeping pills, see? If there's traces, it'll change color. 
Wow, neat. Well, Detective Gumsh, what are you waiting for? Now, now, everything, everything in due time, Prowl. Well, the test and solution changed on the plate changed color, all right. There were sleeping pills on the plate. Looks like it. Now I'm having trouble getting back into the gumshoe's voice because I haven't, I haven't done his voice in like two months. Investigation. How goes your investigation? To tell the truth, it's a real mess, pal. Some people think we should pursue the case we already have against Powers. And some people think we should switch suspects. What do you think, Detective Gumshoe? Well, pal, I hate to admit it, but I'm not sure I've had the case against Mr. Powers anymore. I feel kind of bad for Mr. Edgeworth, though. Prosecutor Edgeworth. How is Edgeworth doing, anyway? Edgeworth is out of control. He was in the waiting room and he crushed his, this paper cup with hot, hot coffee in it. Whoa. Talk about burns, pal. Wow, the fury of Edgeworth. Yeah, crushing paper cups. Cups. Bottles. Say, whatever happened with that empty bottle? Oh, the bottle of sleeping pills? Well, I got a good, good news for, about, for you about that, pal. Yeah, they found the victim, Jack Hammer's prints on the bottle. So that means... Yep, sounds like the one who put Powers to sleep was none other than the victim. So I was right. Sleeping pill bottle added to the court record. So yeah, things are heating up. I'm guessing I know as much about that as you you do, pal. I eat nothing. It's a bit of a burn if you think about it. Dressing room. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Oh, I was just cleaning up the dressing room. I guess WP won't be using it anymore, so... What? What? Why? But WP's innocent. Yes, and I'm really grateful for all you've done. But this week is the last episode of the Steel Samurai. What? No! Mr. Hammer. I was wondering if I could ask you about Mr. Hammer. Yes? On the day of the murder, he went to Studio 2. Huh? I thought he went to Studio 1. He stole the Steel Samurai costume too. What? Why would Mr. Hammer do something like that? Oh, I guess the rumor must be true then. The rumor? Yeah, Miss Fast Cans, that producer, is some kind of hole on Hammer. She had some dirt on him. He'd do anything she said, apparently. Some dirt? What dirt? Dirt. You know, bad stuff. Um, I know what dirt means. About five years ago, they were filming a movie starring Mr. Hammer. They were using the new studio. Studio 2. Some sort of accident happened during the filming. After that, they never used the studio again. They left the film set the way it was, too. Film set? Is that trailer part of the film set, then? Anyway. What do you mean, The Last Steel Samurai? I know it's a shock, but nothing can be done to shame it now. Whoever really didn't kill Mr. Hammer also signed the Steel Hammer and Death Warrant. No, no! Also, I hear that Global Studios is going to change its programming. They're not going to make kids shows anymore. Wh what? Why? I don't know. It's sad, but, I, but that's what Global Studios has decided. Why aren't they going to make kids shows anymore? Studio Bangwink don't want the Steel Samurai around anymore. They want to forget all this ever happened. They want the... They want it quiet, you understand? How could they just do that? What about all the kids who love the Steel Samurai? It's okay. I'm sure the kids will be fine. They'll find a new hero to follow. No, that can't be true. If the program just ends, they'll be heartbroken for sure. Nick, say something. Um, yeah. I think evidence rather than words is called for here. Here, take a look at this. And this is... Fan collected all of these photographs. The kids love the Steel Samurai. The show shouldn't be cancelled just so some adults can save face. I would think you would understand that better than anyone. You're right. Okay, 
Well, what can I know? Well, for starters, you can tell me something. Tell me what it is that Global Studio is so intent on hiding. Tell me about this accident five years ago. Okay. Could you tell us what happened five years ago? Well, I could tell you what I've heard. Apparently, five years ago, someone died. It was Hammer's fault. Someone died? It was an accident, of course. Anyway, producer Miss Vasquez managed to hush it up, and that's the dirt she had. Or, and that's the dirt she had on Mr. Hammer. That's why Mr. Hammer would do an anything Miss Vasquez asked him to do. But it was an accident, right? Why wouldn't they just make it public? Well, you know, Mr. Hammer was a big star back then. They were afraid about what would happen to his career if word got out. I see. You know who knows more about this? Miss Oldman. She was here at the studios back then, you know. Thanks. We'll try asking her. If she'll talk. Yeah, we might have some trouble getting her to talk. She may love talking, but... Not to us. I'm sorry, I'm not sure what to make of that. Go ahead and move back on over to the employee area, and then Old Bag still should be at the main gate. What? You're still slinking around? If you like the place so much, why don't you take over for me? The old windbag doesn't look so good. Everybody's doing their darndest to forget Hammer. Who do they think made Global Studios what it is today? Hammer! It's all due to Hammer. You're starting to froth at the mouth, Nick. Maybe we should keep a safe distance. Yeah, that's definitely the best idea when talking to Old Bag. Five years ago. Um, I wanted to ask you about five years ago. Who told? Who did you hear that from? I, uh, huh? Nichols! Nichols? Nichols, Nick. Penny Nichols. That assistant we talked to. Uh, oh, right. Anyway, we heard about the accident. It was during filming with Jack Hammer. He killed a man, didn't he? Whippish snappers. Dredging up dirt on someone's past like that. And the recently departed, no less. I suppose you think this is fun? No, I'm just doing my job to protect Mr. Powers. And you claim that pa Hammer sold Powers' costume. You expect me to believe that rubbish? Or do you have some kind of proof? Proof that Hammer stole Powers' costume? I have proof indeed. I'm sorry, Miss Oldbag, but I do have proof. I can prove that Mr. Hammer stole Mr. Powers' costume by using the sleeping pills bottle. Here's my proof. What? What's a little empty bottle supposed to prove? It's a bottle of sleeping pills. With Mr. Hammer's fingerprints on it. Oh, what does that prove? I'm I'm sure old Hammer had some sleepless nights. Where's your proof that he used those pills on Powers? That would be the steak plate. Mr. Powers ate a T-bone steak for lunch, correct? Well, yes, so... This is the plate that he used to eat that steak. There are traces of sleeping pill powder on the plate. I see. Poor, poor Hammer. You did wrong, Hammer. Rest your soul. Miss Holdbag? Okay, you win. I'll talk. I'm tired, see? Tired of holding it all in. Miss Holdbag. You're right. Five years ago, there was an accident. A fatal accident. What's worse, a paparazzi, paparazzi took a photo of it. That photo, well, it caused quite a stir. And guess who made it better? Vasquez. She has ties to the Mafia. She silenced that paparazzi. That was the beginning. After that, she became a force to be reckoned with here at the studio. I see. But you have to understand. Poor old Hammer never meant to harm anyone. This old bag. Hold on a minute. Here, take this. A photograph. Wait a second. This is the picture. Is this the trailer in Studio 2? Hammer was supposed to fight with the bad guy on the top of those stairs there. He pushed the other actor, and the man fell onto the flower box fence. But 
how did you get this? It was a long time ago. I don't feel much like talking about it. I understand. Five-year-old photo added to the court record. So yeah, and I guess we'll go ahead and show this off to Miss Vasquez next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and talk to Miss Vasquez. She would see what she has to say about she sells seashells on the seashore. Yeah, that was a bit of a tongue twister there. We'll see what she has to say about what happened five years ago. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.